What is up guys, Fado82 coming at you with a weekly Rust update video. This week Rust received a small update with the addition of some gameplay fixes and the integration of some skins from the community. The Fado82 water pipe shotgun did make its way into the game so thank you for everybody for upvoting the peace pipe if you thought it was a cool skin. I'm going to be showing that off primarily while I'm talking in this video because I want you guys to see the footage, not to sell the item, but in case you don't want to buy it. I want people to be aware of what it looks like in the game compared to the concept artwork. And I saw a thread on Reddit where somebody said they didn't like it and they thought it looked like shit. And they're entitled to their opinion, but I didn't want anyone to feel misled. So that's why you're looking primarily at that water pipe, peace pipe shotgun. So the genesis behind it was... We came out with the Safety Crew hoodie. That was an item that Boner and Sweatpants, myself and the artist collaborated on. It wasn't a hoodie with the Fatal logo. I didn't really want the Fatal logo on anything in the game, but a lot of people did request it. So we thought, how can we do that in a way that's gonna add an item into the game that has some value? And we thought of this water pipe shotgun that was going to be this military paint, this green military paint that was chipped away and subdued and cracked with a Fado logo that was very faded. And that was essentially what we were going for here and the handle the black on the handle is black electrical tape so i really like the skin i think it's cool but i understand it's not going to be for everybody but i felt obligated to show you guys footage in case you don't want to buy it because i don't want anybody to be unhappy with it also guys if you are going to purchase it do so through the rust store not the community the community tends to see jacked up prices in the dev blog, Gary talked about phasing out certain skins, and one of the skins was the Tempered AK, which was the highest priced and flashiest skin in the game. So keep in mind, guys, that at any point in time, these skins can change, and the value of them is entirely subjective and dictated by the community. As always, guys, really hope you enjoyed the video. Fado82, peace.